about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for It's a guy's life. I'm here with Robert Fry. Say hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. And his brother. Say hey. What's your name again? Jeff. Hey, Jeff. He, look, he's ahead of me. Hey, Jeff. It's all good. Listen, listen. I, the, the reason I'm starting right off the dock here. Notice I'm at the dock here. We're, we're, we're putting it at South Bay today. We're going to fish in the, this area. Uh, they're, they're fish here. Listen, I pulled in and Tom Mann is here. Anytime I pull into a spot where Tom Mann's at, I feel like I've figured it out. Well, keep your comments to yourself. All right, now listen, 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 listen. Now, here's the deal. The reason I want to start right here is because these guys have made three incredible mistakes that you never want to make when you're going out with a guide. They've already made three big ones, and I'm going to tell you what they are. Number one, don't ever, ever, ever pay your guide before you go home. Don't do that. They, listen, listen, I'm going to tell you from a guide's perspective, I already feel I got the boat in the water. I feel like my job is done. All right, so, so, so don't do that because it changes it changes the complexity and the complexion of the whole process. So fellas, shame, shame. <laughs> number one. Number two. Number two. Number two. The great caca. Here we go. Number two. Number two. They they made the mistake of saying, and this is another one. I you get this as a guide, you actually get this quite a bit from fishermen, guys who actually go out and fish. They always say, look. We just, we're excited about being on the water today, whether we catch them, we don't catch them. And they try and kind of take the pressure off. And it's another way to take the pressure off the guide. And a lot of times that can be effective, but it's ultimately a mistake. Keep the expectations high with the guide. If you, listen, you want this guy, you want this guy sitting on the edge of his seat. You want his brain working hard the whole time. And then number three, number one and two are similar. They have the similar effect, but they're different things. Number three, and this is the biggest one. Don't ever, 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 Tell your guy you want him to fish. <laughs> Captain Dave's going to throw some baits today. So, so, uh, so listen, if this turns into me and my two friends fishing, I'm going to try and whip their arses. So, so I don't know what's going to happen. I probably won't catch a fish all day. But, but I want to I wanted to lead in. We'll keep you posted on how this goes. I hope the audio is not horrible on this. I have no idea right now. But, uh, but this is where we're going. Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life. Yes, sir. Jeff and Robert, brothers, brothers got a hug. Go ahead, bro. You guys want a hug? Not really. Not right now, man. Listen, I tried. I tried. Mama Fry, I did my part. All right, Captain Dave Snyder, we'll see you soon. Okay, hey, listen, I don't know how this is going to sound. I, I never know. Uh, but, man, guys, it's fishing's going good. Go, going good. I, especially for me, Captain Dave has really been just tearing them a new one. Actually, that's not true. I, I, my efforts have been a little pedestrian. But, uh, but it's been way better than Rob. You know, but, but now listen, but Rob has not been without his, you know, the qualities to keep somebody interesting to have in the boat. You know, he'll set a hook and he'll set a hook and it goes flying over your head and you think, ooh, that was exciting. You know, you know that makes your blood pump a little bit. That, that, that's always good. Anytime your blood's pumping, right? Any, yeah, anytime absolutely. your blood's pumping, that's good. Uh, or the latest one, this is my personal favorite. Uh, he, he sets a hook and quack in the side of the boat he looks at me and he looks at his brother and he says that one might need some spackle <laughs> now I, I i've never repaired fiberglass before well, I'm pretty sure spackle's not it. i don't think spackle's part of that process <laughs> i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna check spackle spackle google it yeah we'll have to google spackle exactly because i but he certainly dented my soul. I can tell you that. <laughs> ah, Captain Dave. Listen, I don't know if you can That's see the weather here. Story. I have no idea what's going on with the weather. The wind is, the wind, I'd say the really hard stuff is on us now. The wind is, the wind is really blowing here, guys. Uh, but it's a blast. We're having a really good time. Scott Martin's right over there. We've got, there's three, there are three FLW boats within a, a half a mile of us for sure. Um, probably within 400 yards of us. Uh, but, uh, Anyway, anyway, uh, that'd be a quarter of a mile for those of you who are splitting the hairs and counting them. Uh, but uh, I'm all done. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so, you know, you, you catch these fish. Hey, this is not a big fish, but this is a special fish. I want to show you. Right? I know this, the, 
the camera work here is ridiculous, okay? But listen, listen, listen. It's a, it's a special little dude right here, right? Special little guy. Just a little one, right? But, but look at all the damage he caused. Look at all the damage he caused here. Look at that. Now, what happened, Bob? I had an accident. He had an accident. I don't know if he just wet himself on the hook set or... Or it what happened? Exciting. It was so exciting. It could have been that <laughs> when the dude set the hook, the fish flew 18 feet through the air and splashed next to the boat and just totally mud, you know, mud puddled him. You know what I mean? And which dude was that? And oh look here, oh look here, on camera, on cue. Look at here now. All of a sudden, it's just they're coming in bunches, little bunches, but little bunches. All right, all right. Well, no Sorry, pressure there, yeah, prime yeah. dog. But uh, this counts as a double because we still got this one in the boat. So that if you got two in hand, and that's like that's a double right that's there. Like that's that's a, a bush. That's how we. That's how he said bush. That that's how we. Uh, that's how we roll around here. All right. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's getting late. It's four o'clock. Everybody's almost gone. I told these guys, look, we'll be the last ones here. We'll be the last ones here. And you know what? It looks like we beat the rain. I should have never said that. Uh, that was a hot. That, uh, was, that wasn't very hot. Listen, this is the same dude that walked into a room and said, oh, hey, the Red Wings are shutting them out. Oh, yeah, I, I did do that on purpose. And my, my son and my, my, uh, my sister, my good friend, Jeremy Hagen, like, oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. The, Lions, or the, 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 the Red Wings lost two to one in overtime. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. That's just that's how I roll, man. But anyway, we're, we're catching them good, man. We've got probably we're close to 20 fish in the boat, and uh, we had a couple of decent ones, uh, but but it, we're having a good time, and the bite's still rolling. We'll 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 get at it. But I just wanted to show you how how one this is how accidents one good happen, thing can, can turn to an even better thing. <laughs> so we'll see. Here, it's a guy's life. It's time to let the big dog eat. I don't know. I just like to say stuff like that. But in any case, we had a really good day. Uh, we had we we had we probably had 35 or 40 bites, and I, I think that's plus minus four or five bites. But we had a, we had a really good day. Uh, I, I feel very comfortable saying we voted we voted somewhere between 27 and 30 fish, uh, and and I, and that's plus or minus two or three fish as well. But but it was good. We never caught a really big one. I had one that was real close to three pounds. We had a couple others that were two and a half. Uh, but it was just fun. The key thing was we kind of beat the weather. We, we stayed out here when the wind was howling 25 miles an hour and it was blowing at times. It was really blowing at times. And so we, we stuck it out through that. Uh, and now it's actually beautiful. We're kind of putting the lake to sleep right here. It's, it's 545. We got about 15 minutes of daylight here before the mosquitoes are coming. And, uh, and so we're gonna run in, but I just wanted to put a head on this thing and say, you know, we, we didn't get a whole lot of fish catching on the thing because I didn't bring my GoPros out. I, I uh, usually the, the wind kind of keeps this down just a little bit, but. But this camera shoots it good, so we're gonna we're gonna do it right here like this, guys. Listen, Captain Dave Schneider, hey, 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 these boys. I don't know. Let's give you a little bit more background here. These boys, these boys have got some education too. These these aren't just a couple of rednecks here, all right. <laughs> they come yeah. from a good, honest redneck background though. Pappy's an old salty dog, man. Shout out to Pappy. Uh, what's your dad's name? Bob. Bob. Shout out to Bob. It's all good. Shout out to Bob. Uh, I want Bob. Hey, Bob. I want to go fishing. I want to go fishing, brother. Let, let's go. Let's go. I don't believe a word these two idiots say. So there's no way you're this, you're as bad as they say. I, I want to I want to I want to meet you, Bob. I'm just kidding around. Want to see it live. I, I want to see it. I want to see the salty dog in person. That's what I want to see. Uh, they, listen, his dad his dad was a commercial fisherman. Anyway, 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 guys, we got a couple of attorneys here, business owners, accountants. I, listen, I can't even go into all of it. So they kept me on the top of my game, but I was on my game today. I was red hot. I, uh, if he does say so himself. And I do. I do say so myself. <laughs> I, by the way, too, I want to say I probably beat their ass or their butts here, too. I, I, but, you know, I truthfully maybe buy one fish. Maybe. Plus or minus eight fish. Um, it, it, but we, we, we caught them good. And that's all that really mattered. I had a blast. I'm going to tell you, that was the fastest eight hours I've had in a long time. It was fun. It was fun. All right, listen, Captain Dave, do me a favor. If you like the video, for God's sakes, hit the like button over and over again. Hit it more than once. I know it. No, just hit it once because just hit it hard. Because if you hit it once and then you hit it twice, I think it shuts the like off. It does. Yeah. So don't hit it twice. Share it. If you're going to like it, though, do it an odd number of times. That'll be the key. <laughs> you know what? I'm making this more complicated. Just hit the like button one time and then share it. Because I know you liars have friends. I know some of you got friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just showing off now. All right. But I know you guys got friends. Let's keep the fire burning. We're building a fire. Captain Dave Schneider. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>